so April is actually a huge month in history for our household because we actually have not swiped a credit card in one year. Okay, so you guys know we started our budgeting journey in June of 2017. We were married in November of 2016, so at that point we started budgeting about seven months into our marriage. And in April-ish, end of March, April-ish is when I decided that I was going to hop on the budget bandwagon and on the budget train with my husband and that I was going to start managing finances a little bit better and so um i wouldn't say we manage finances terribly but i certainly wouldn't say we were managing them like we are now and so anyway end of march april is when we decided that we would do that my husband's always been about budgeting i have too but not to his degree he wants to budget he always wanted to budget to save and to invest and all of that i just wanted to budget so that i could pay my bills and then blow the rest of the money that's pretty much what my budgeting was about and it was pretty effective it's just I wasn't really spending my money or using my money the right way and so anyway about April 2017 is when I finally decided that it was time and I wanted to take whatever budgeting that either one of us had known to the next level and really get in there and so essentially we stopped using credit cards in April and I remember like it was yesterday like I remember the last time I swiped my credit card and I have not done that in one year today which is kind of mind-blowing but it went by so fast and so before anybody tries to call me out I'm gonna go ahead and call myself out so I will say we paid off all of my credit cards in June, $3,000 worth of credit card debt. We paid off my husband's credit cards in July, $3,000 worth of credit card debt. But in the end of August-ish, somewhere in August to September, we actually used um, my Best Buy credit card. Now, we didn't swipe it because I don't even want to tell y'all this, but you actually don't need your credit card in hand when you go to... Um, Best Buy. I don't know if any store, but you don't need it for Best Buy. But don't go in there. Just don't even go in there, period, trying to swipe your card. Just don't hold me accountable if you go in there and you see something that you want and you don't have your credit card and you decide to just give them your social because that's what all you got to do anyway. Just don't hold me accountable for sharing that bit with you guys. So anyway, we had already cut up the credit cards. It was six total. We, have, we don't have those credit cards with us. They were already cut up after they had been paid off. But I didn't close the Best Buy one. So I didn't do it because I knew that those birthdays were coming up. My husband's and his mom's. And she wanted a fancy smart TV. And he needed a PlayStation 4 because every year for his birthday I get him Madden and t NBA 2K they come out like August and September respectively and that's what I've been getting him for his birthday for as long as I can remember but the new the new games didn't support his old throwback Xbox I guess he had like a 360 so he needed a new PlayStation 4 and he got one but the reason why I chose to use the credit card account was because well first of all if you pre-order Madden or any game you get like ten dollars um in credits or whatever and then so that was two credits and then with my cash back that's the only credit card I've ever had where there was actually cash back but I wasn't in Best Buy buying stuff so I never really got any cash back if you know what I'm saying so it really it really wasn't beneficial to me but I knew that with such large purchases I would get a lot of cash back and so I did and so basically I paid for his second game which was whichever one came out in September I guess NBA 2K18 that was essentially free because of the monies that I got for pre-ordering and then those large purchases that I had made between like August and September I guess August because his birthday is the first week of September so anyway I did use the card then but it literally they were cut up we they're all like legit cut up right now so I did use that so I'm not gonna lie to y'all but I have not swiped a card in one year and we have not used the card since then so it's been you know I guess about at this point I guess it was maybe the end of August I guess so we'll say September October November December January February March April 
about it's almost May so like eight months and some change or whatever it depends on how you want to count the months but like eight months we have not used any credit card for anything for any purchases we have paid cash for everything and in that time frame um, from last April until now we have paid off I think we're tiptoeing on like 30,000 um, of debt to include you guys know this I don't really have to tell you this but credit cards some other little debts um, my car and now student loans is all that's remaining but you know essentially whatever payment we make is a debt payment even our minimum payments are debt payments so essentially those are payments that are going towards our loans so those are debt payments so I haven't really counted those in recent months oh we also had to pay the IRS um and the state that we live in like forty five hundred dollars or something like that so anyway i did include that in there so anyway it's been like thirty thousand of debt of thirty thousand dollars of our income that we have put towards debt and since we really i would say since um i guess like june if that's the date we want to go with it gets a little tricky because we haven't used we haven't swiped a credit card since April that's when we decided that we were gonna stop and pay them off in May we had a trial month of budgeting which we didn't really like make any real gains we didn't accrue any more debt which is great but we didn't really make any gains and in June is kind of when we hit the ground running and we started paying off credit cards and we got that momentum and that's when everything started to unfold and so anyway long story short we haven't used credit cards in such a long time and I guess to answer the question about what has it been like what our experience has been like it's been pretty great <laughs> so I've never really had like I don't I've never had a credit card where I had like any rewards or points or anything like that so I'm not missing out on that um, again the Best Buy credit card was the only one that we had between the two of us that even had some kind of reward system but that's only if you went to best if we were going to Best Buy and making large purchases which we were not I mean the most that I've ever put on that credit card was probably like a $500 purchase or something. So it's not like I was getting tons of cash back. So as far as that goes, yeah, I've never really had any points or rewards from these credit cards. So, I mean, I'm not really missing out on anything. Um, cash flowing all of our purchases has been pretty great. That's what we've mainly always did um, before we had that short, you know, history with credit cards. So like, you know, majority, like 90% of our lives, we had paid things um with cash so kind of feels like old times i guess it's been pretty wonderful um it's been great because the thing about it the, the i guess the reason why i'm reflecting is because um it was those credit cards that we it was because of those credit cards that we were able to that like pushed us to start paying off our debts because when we started we just wanted to pay off those credit cards like I will say that I said that then and I'll say that now those credit cards and the interest I just couldn't keep I just couldn't justify continuing to pay interest on credit cards now granted you're supposed to pay your credit cards in full so you're not even supposed to carry a balance so I'm not saying like I'm not saying anything against credit cards because some people use them as tools they were not I mean they weren't really helping me in any way shape form or fashion because I was carrying a balance on mine but yeah it was those interest charges that we were paying that kind of propelled us to start this budgeting journey again we just set out to pay off our credit cards but once we paid those off it, w it was seemed easy to us I know it's not easy for everyone but it seemed fairly easy to us so we just continue to go and go and go and we're not stopping now you guys some of you know that we are um, just paid off the IRS we had enough to pay them off as of February but they just took the money out of our account this month um, in April um, but in March we were going to get back to paying off my husband's student loans but that is also when he basically decided to not change his career but his line of work so he's currently doing a training and a class and all of that and once he finishes that he'll be able to move on to the next phase of things and um sure it's kind of smack dab in the middle of us paying off our debts but in the grand scheme of things um 
the reward is going to be like a hundred times greater than the risk. There's actually really no risk involved actually. It's, I only see, is there's only positive without saying too much because I don't want to have to go back and you know fix what I said or whatever the case is. I, it's nothing but positivity can come from it and the last time he decided to change things up just a wee bit, wee bit but kind of stick to the same career he like more than doubled his income so that's kind of what we're looking forward to not so much him doubling his income or more than doubling or tripling or whatever but just being able to proceed with our plans of getting out of debt and trying to get our finances in order and honestly if everything goes accordingly which y'all know we are positive people over here negativity does not live here and all of that we only see things from a through a positive lens um if everything goes accordingly uh yeah we'll meet our goals like way faster and everything will be peachy and so even though we're kind of breaking for a short while right now um again once we are back to normal and everything's good again we should be surpassing our old debt-free date or whatever the case is so we're excited for that but yeah just reflecting on our year it's been quite our year or so ish whatever without credit cards has been pretty liberating I've been loving not paying interest charges like for reals um and I don't know I haven't it's not really been much of a change and we there's no plastic around here um I can't even be tempted to swipe a card because I don't have one to swipe. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just been great. It's been really um, much more, it's been way different, obviously, because instead of, like, swiping a card, we have to, like, well, we do still swipe a card, our debit card, but we have to, like, actually have the money. So, like, our, our brand, like, we don't even think about, like, you know swiping a card and then paying it back later or maybe paying it back later we just use our debit cards for everything and pay for it up front it's actually made budgeting much easier I don't know if people like you know I know some people actually I don't know if they actually budget but I know some people use credit cards for a lot of things and then they just pay them off I don't know if they actually budget when they do that I don't know if that even makes it more difficult I don't even know but I think it's been much easier just budgeting in the absence of credit card payments and all of that because you kind of swipe your card and the money's off your account off you don't owe anybody like you already paid you know for what you you know per you already paid for your purchase so you don't have to wait for to pay them back at a later date or whatever the case is so anyway long story short i just wanted to share with you guys that that is a little milestone in our household and that we're really excited to continue our journey it's a little bit slow right now but I'm not mad about it at all again I'm pretty positive so like it would take a lot to make me frustrated or angry about this momentum but again once everything works itself out I don't know when that's gonna be gonna be hopefully um, within the next month or two everything will work itself out and we will be you know hopefully not back to normal I mean back to normal as in rocking with paying off our debt but even like exceeding our old normal so I don't know but we will have to see so anyway I just wanted to come and share that little milestone with you guys and just kind of share our little history and all of that good stuff so anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I know it was short and you know not super informative but I just wanted to share that on my channel because I think that's like a milestone for us so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one bye guys